He's a spectacular animal, no question. And like if he's in the house and he needs to go to the bathroom, he'll go to the door. If he's in the what? If he's in the house. He goes into your house. <laughs> yeah, and uh, if he's in the house and needs to go to the bathroom, then he won't use the bathroom in the house. I need to see this. Go for it. Open the gate. If you have to, shut the door. Mm. This is definitely the most stupid thing I've ever done. Ever. <laughs> He's definitely coming in the house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is hilarious. He can still reach up to me and sniff me, you know. I'm a little bit scared. Wow. He's got really beautiful eyes. I can't get over how gentle he is with everything, or see. Well, that's what amazes me about him, because I didn't teach him to be gentle. He just happens to be real gentle in the house and very aggressive and very mean on the outside of the house. Does this all boil down to sort of territory? The paddock is his territory and he knows that you... This is your territory, and you're the dominant male, so he needs to be respectful of that? Does that I, I, think that I think that's what it is. I think when he's in the house, he knows this is my area, and he needs to respect my area. I heard something get knocked over, and he says, the minute he went outside again, <laughs> he was trashing the place. Can I follow you, or is that too dangerous? You can follow me as long as I can be between you. Are you sure? Mm hmm You never taught him to be potty trained, for want of a better... Never had it. I have no clue to how you would potty turn about that. <laughs> but so you got to realize, he knows that everything I do is for him. I never do anything that's against him. It's always for his protection or for his happiness. He's an exceptional buffalo. Then he's gonna come in here and eat with me. Come on. Okay, so I'm gonna the food. Oh, you gotta have a look at this. thought that I would see such a huge, powerful, unpredictable animal because so gingerly in cold. All the ornaments around he sniffs gently. He's literally tiptoeing around Arcee's home. It's just completely surreal to watch. RC manages to maintain a bizarre appearance of domestic bliss with Wild Thing spending time watching TV, mowing the lawn, and even going for a swim with him. And because Wild Thing thinks R.C. is the dominant male in his little herd, it certainly looks like he'll always tread softly around him. <laughs> 